These are 10 Quest 2 life hacks you must know. For those of you who have a quest, when you first get it and set it up, the headset asks you to adjust the IPD, which are the two lenses in the front of the headset which let you see very clearly. And there are three levels. There's level 1, level 2, and level 3, and you adjust it to the distance to your eyes. It may be a little hard to move them, but there's actually a secret trick that nobody knew. This trick is meant to have a level in between the three IPD adjustments, just in case they don't actually fit your eyes. And here's how you do it. Alright, this is how you adjust your IPD. So you get this. And you get your quest obviously you look for the lens and then on the top there will be a number like over here and then it goes one two three you try to push it to in between one of those numbers all right look as you can see it's in between the two and the three it looks like a number on the side another number on the side if you can't do this then you don't deserve your quest you should put it away another trick that you didn't know about is that you can actually have yourself inside of vr i know it doesn't make sense but meta introduced a way to customize your character inside your vr home it sounds just as terribly as it works and this is probably the worst feature that i've ever seen in my life but you can do this by putting on your quest clicking your profile picture and then click edit avatar then you have the freedom to create the most atrocious thing you've ever seen or the best thing you've ever seen. Every day when you open up your quest 2, there is a home where you stay and find your games. After a while, that home can get boring, but there is a way to change that. You can go from having a normal quest 2 home, to living in space, to being around Spongebob and the rest of his friends. In order to do this, you go to settings, personalization, and then click the home that you want to use. They have two new ones that you could use which are really cool, and I have this one where you're able to hang out with Spongebob, or you can be in the Minecraft world. If you want to know how to do this really cool thing to have different worlds, just let me know in the comments comments below. Have you ever been on vacation or are you just far from your quest to that you spent tons of money on and couldn't download the game you wanted in time? There's actually a way around that and it's very simple. You can actually download games from your phone onto your quest too. Just open up the meta app, look for a game you want to download and then make sure your quest to has been connected to your phone from the beginning. Once you do that, just scroll for anything you want and download it to the headset. This is me downloading Gorilla Tag onto my headset from my phone. I'm going to delete it after to this by the way playing vr is great until you get a message from your mom to clean your dirty room and you didn't see it which caused you to get grounded at the end but there's actually a way to avoid that and it's really simple you can actually connect your phone to your quest 2 and see notifications in game and in order to do this you just open the meta app on your phone go to menu click on devices press plus to add your headset click the headset that you own and then make sure when you're pairing it the code is the same on your phone and on the headset click pair allow and then tap phone notifications in VR. That sounded very tedious, but it's probably the best thing you could do to not get in trouble. Your Quest 2 has a bunch of cool features that are either hidden or entirely useless. One feature that I have found is Bluetooth, and fortunately, it is very useful. Bluetooth is something that can be found on every device, your phone, your smartwatch, your TV, or even your car. And the Quest 2 actually allows you to connect compatible Bluetooth devices to your headset. This can include things like a controller, Bluetooth headphones, or even like, a speaker i don't know i don't know why you would connect a controller to your quest 2 like an xbox controller but if you want to be able to do this just go to settings click devices go to bluetooth and then you will find the settings right there the quest store is the main store on the headset from which you can get games from if you didn't know that then you probably don't know how to use a quest most of the games on the quest store cost a bunch of money like this game that somehow won awards and cost a stupid 40 dollars beat saber but i'm about to tell you something powerful something that will change the way that you use your quest from now on there's a second Second store that has way more free games than the Oculus Store. I'm talking about SideQuest. SideQuest is an application where you can find games uploaded by developers, which then you can play for probably free. They have this section called App Lab where you do not need a PC to get games onto your headset. In order to get these games, you just go to the website in the link in the description below inside of your quest. You just search it up and then you can just download any game you want. Have you ever been in a cool situation and couldn't take a screenshot because your greasy fingers were too slow? Well, I have a solution for for you. If you have an amazing moment in game, you can take a quick screenshot by holding the Oculus home button and pressing the trigger at the same time. You have a controller and you kind of just hold that button right there and then you just press the trigger. For you newbies, it's going to be like the meta logo instead. For me, it's the Oculus logo because you know I'm, I'm a real one. This allows for a quick picture in game, which you can send to your friends if you have any. The Meta Quest 2 controllers are pretty good and they are comfortable and easy to hold. However, there is a controller out there that is better than every other VR controller. I'm talking about the Valve Index VR controllers, as it has sensors to track your individual fingers and a strap to hold your hand to the controller without you actually having to grip it. Luckily, there is a way to do that on your Quest 2 and here's how. Take off the battery and then you take this out. You do some cool tie knot with it. So you grab this, bring this little thing all the way up to the top, 
put it through the headset and then loop this around make sure you're paying attention don't miss this loop it around once you loop it around you grab this bottom end and you place it inside let's go i did it okay you put it in once you put it in you grab the battery and you just cover it boom oh my god you put your hands through here you see my hands are a little bit a little bit too big but if you have smaller hands it could definitely work most of you who have a quest probably sling it around without a care in the world with a chance of breaking it when you buy the quest 2 it only comes with a controller a charger some papers maybe a sticker if you're lucky meta actually sells this expensive quest 2 case for 50 dollars i'm not gonna lie i am not dropping 50 dollars for this case and meta's really out here finessing a bag from you guys however you should probably protect your quest in a cheaper way with this 30 dollar quest 2 carrying case i'm not sponsored this is just a random one i I literally i just searched it up and i found it on amazon but protecting your quest 2 can definitely help from random scratches random drops if you leave it on a table or a counter and it's very useful if you guys enjoyed this video check out this one about the ways meta can spy on you through your quest